So hello guys, uh, so a long time back I uploaded a video on how to convert the unit vectors in Cartesian coordinate to the unit vector of spherical polar coordinate x cap, y cap, g cap to r cap, theta cap and phi cap and today we will be doing a similar thing. Today we will be discussing like how you can convert the Cartesian coordinate into the polar coordinates, especially I will be talking about how you can convert the unit vectors from Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates. You know polar coordinate is a two dimensional coordinate. So let us start with the conventional coordinate system which you already know. It is about Cartesian. So this is the simplest one. In Cartesian coordinate in two dimension, we have i cap and j cap. These are the two unit vectors in Cartesian. Okay i cap and j cap. In polar coordinate what you have? In polar coordinate, polar, co polar coordinate is also a two dimensional thing. So, in polar coordinate we have r and theta. Now, how can we establish a relationship between this polar coordinate and the Cartesian coordinates? Here unit vectors are r cap and theta cap. So, conventionally these are the directions of i cap and j cap and how to represent r cap. So, let us say if you consider this, this denotes the direction of r cap. Now, what is the, what about the direction of theta cap? So, you see if you place your pen here, if you go from i cap to j cap, this angle, this angle is theta and we say that if you consider a point p here, then the coordinate of p in polar coordinate is given by r and theta. Now, you can easily understand the direction of r, this is r, r cap. Now, what about the direction of theta cap? So, you see, if you place your pen here, you are engaging theta in this direction. So, theta is nothing but it is directed in a perpendicular direction. This, this is the direction of theta cap, fine. Now, can we represent this theta cap in terms of are in terms of these Cartesian unit vectors i cap and j cap and can we represent r cap in terms of these Cartesian unit vectors i cap and j cap. Let us talk about that. So, I am just uh, redrawing this thing here. So, if you see this is our i cap, this is our j cap, I hope it is visible to you and uh, let us draw it like this, this is r cap. Okay. Now, theta is increasing in this way, it is like this and as I have told you, the angle between r cap and theta cap is 90 degree. So, we are representing the theta cap by making an angle 90 degree. So, it is something like this, sorry, so if we make a line like this by making an angle. 90 degree, this is 90 degree basically, you can also it in this way, this is the direction of theta cap. So, you have just redrawn this thing here. Now, how can you uh, represent this? So, you can see this angle is theta and this angle is nothing but 90 degree plus theta. This 90 degree plus theta is made by this axis with the x axis. Now, with the help of this, we can represent the unit vectors. Let us say we are representing r cap. Now, representing r cap is very easy. r cap, let us tell, let us talk about another thing. If you have a vector, let us say a vector. If you want to calculate the component along this direction, which is making an angle theta, then what do you do? You write it as a cos theta and you write it as a sin theta. The perpendicular component is written as a sin theta and you represent this vector in let us say if you consider it in Cartesian coordinates i cap and j cap. So, we write it as a cos theta i cap plus a sin theta j cap. So, in this way we can represent r cap as what do we can represent? The, it is making an angle theta with the i, I cap axis. So, what you can write? We can write cos theta into i cap, right? So, r cap is equals to cos theta i cap sorry 
cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap. This is so straightforward. Now, what about theta cap? So, we have expressed r cap in terms of the unit vector i cap and j cap. Now, if you want to express theta cap, you see the angle between r cap and theta cap direction is 90 degree. So, if we just add 90 degree with the angle theta, then we should get it. Okay, sin of 90 degree plus theta j cap. So, cos of 90 degree plus theta, it is equals to minus sin theta. So, minus sin theta i cap and sin of 90 degree plus theta, it is nothing but cos theta. So, you see we have expressed r cap and theta cap in terms of the unit vectors i cap and j cap of Cartesian coordinates. Now, let me just give you one example how we can implement this. Let us say I have given you a vector uh, in, let us say this E is a vector. I have given you it in radial, sorry, this polar coordinate. So, it is like 7 E r cap minus 3 E phi cap. E r cap and E phi cap are like r cap and theta cap, you can consider it in this way. Then what will be the value of E x and what will be the value of E y? E x is nothing but the x component. So, we write it E dot x cap and E y will be E dot y cap, this is how it works. So, E dot x cap will be 7 E r cap minus 3 E phi cap dot x cap and this will be 7 E r cap minus 3 E phi cap dot y cap. So, what will these things produce 7 E r cap? So, E r cap dot x cap means r cap dot x cap, r cap dot i cap. So, if you utilize this relation, then the first thing will give you, I have the limitation of space. So, what it should give you 7 e r dot x cap, so 7 cos theta plus 3 sin theta. Can you write it? And similarly, this one e r cap dot y cap. So, minus 7 e r cap dot y cap. So, you are taking the dot product with this, then what it should give you? It should give you 7 sin theta minus 3 cos theta. Okay? So, in this way, we can find the value 7 e r cap e r cap dot y cap means sin theta. Okay, see e phi dot y cap, theta cap dot y cap, cos theta. So, minus 3 cos theta, am I right? Yes. So, in this way, we can have a transformation between the unit vectors in Cartesian and polar coordinates. I hope you have all well understood this concept. If you have any question regarding this, you can let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to answer them all and see you guys in the next video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Finally, thanks for watching. Anacademy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GET, GEST, IIT JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on Anacademy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus process, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code FelixR and Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.